Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about the Silver Highlight books by Album Envy. Before I say anything at all, I have very good news for you. Album Envy has been kind enough to offer me codes for five books. So five of you lucky dogs are going to get a Silver Highlight Flush Mount book in the value of $400 completely free. All you have to do is to make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you're also subscribed to my blog thephotobooguru.com and you have to put into the comments underneath the album Envy video or blog post your name and the word subscribed. The game is going to run for two weeks and after the two week period I'm going to announce the winners on my Facebook page The Photobook Guru and on my blog and also underneath this video in the description below. So make sure to enter the game, it's a very generous offer, $400 worth of a flush mount book for you completely free of charge. So let's talk about the book. Album Envy is a brand new company in the United States and they are trying to fill in the ever increasing demand for Silver Halide lay flat books. All of their books are Silver Halide printed and they've got three very specific book types which I think is really cute. One is the photo book, the hybrid and the album. Uh, I've got here in my hands the hybrid, this is the one I'm going to talk about, but they are really really similar and it's basically just an upgrade difference in between the books. So in this review I'm going to talk to you about all of them, the main differences and how they compare. I was very eager to try out the book and I was curious about the results, because as you know by now when I hear Silver Halide, I get really excited and I want to try them all. And the one thing I would like to really emphasize that stood out from the rest of the Silver Halide books is the print quality. It was extremely sharp, the contrast was very very strong and I was very very happy with the colors and the dynamic range. The three books that they do are basically for three different budgets. So if you go for the photo book, it's their cheapest in the line and it basically offers you the basic Silver Highlight Lay Flat book but it only has uh, two cover options and one paper option. If you go for the hybrid, which is this one, it kind of bridges the two together, the album and the photo book. It offers you a lot more options for covers, but it has the same pages and the same paper as the photo book. And if you go for the album, there's the ultimate most expensive of the range, then it has far more options and more expensive uh, exclusive options for the cover material and also it's a flush mount book so the pages are a lot thicker than the hybrid or the photo book. And now let's go into the upload shot. I'm going to show you all the cover options, um, the paper in a, in a close-up, the print quality and talk a little bit more about editing and the binding and then I'm going to come back and talk to you about the delivery prices and the pros and cons of the book. So that's the box that it came in was FedEx and really well packed I must say. Lots of bubble wrap so let's take it out. So there's a big big roll of bubble wrap. And then there is another bubble wrap. And then you've got the album there. Album Envy and just take it out. And there we go. So, um, really well packed. It came safe and sound, so job well done for shipping and packaging. So that's the book, the hybrid. And let's start with the sizes. The photo book comes in 5x5, 5x7, 9x6 and 8x8 sizes. The hybrid, this one, comes in 5x5, 5x7, 9x6, 8x8, 8x10 and 10x10 inches. And the album comes in 8x8, 10x8, 12x9, 10x10, 14x11 and 12x12 inches. There's a huge selection of sizes. There's no project that you couldn't fit into any of these sizes. Obviously, as you can see, the sizes follow the price and budget range. So the more expensive end of the line is going to be the bigger sizes and the cheaper one is going to be the smaller sizes. This book here is the 10 by 8. As you can see, it's a nice landscape book. By the way, all the rectangular books come in landscape and portrait as well. So let's go on to the cover. The photo book comes with linen or classic. The hybrid comes with classic, leatherette, linen, cameo and photo panel. And the album can come with 
genuine leather, classic, linen, cameo and acrylic. So that's the hybrid book here and I chose the photo panel with lederette. So when you choose the photo panel, which basically means that you've got an image on the front, you can choose the material here from the ones I just mentioned. So this is a cream leatherette photo panel, which is kind of a matte finish here. It's not the same luster finish that you've got on the, on the pages inside the book. So let me show you in a close up. It's a very nice matte finish. And that's the leatherette. It is very smooth, very nice feel. And basically you have an image in the front, but you can't have any text. And then there's nothing on the spine and there's nothing on the back. So there's no company logo anywhere in the book and no barcode or anything like that. All in all, it's a beautiful cover with great quality materials. My only moan is that you can't put any text on the spine or in the front. So let's move on to the binding. All the books are lay flat seamless lay flat and the album is flush mount. Now the main difference between the photo book hybrid and the album is that the photo book and the hybrid is made in a way that the double spreads are stuck together and the album is the same but there is a sheet inserted in between the two pages making it much thicker and more rigid. So let me give you a flick through. You can see there's nothing getting lost in the middle. It opens completely flat without me forcing the state open. It's true lay flat and that's how it looks on the top. Let me give you a close up. And that's how it ends and it's attached to the main cover and it's much thicker around here. And it's the same at the front as well. The binding is very strong and it's very well made. It feels very sturdy. My only suggestion would be to the company is that when you buy an expensive book, it's always a good idea to have, you know, an empty double spread at the front and the same on the back. So your last page is not going to be pictures and the first page is not going to be photos. It just gives the book an air of elegance. And when you pay a lot for a book, you want that extra bit of elegance. But otherwise, uh, as I said, all of these books, the photo book, the hybrid and the album are all completely lay flat. The main difference is that the album also has a sheet inserted in between the pages, making them a lot thicker than this. I think it's twice as thick as the hybrid and the photo book. But otherwise, they are all the same and they are all really high standard lay flat albums. Let's move on to the paper. The photo book and the hybrid have only got one option, which is a lustrous photography paper and the album gives you a second option, a matte paper. So let's have a look at this one, which is the lustrous photographic paper. If you are not familiar with uh, photographic papers, luster means that it has a subtle sheen and it also has a very noticeable texture resembling pearls or sand. So that's the sheen of the paper. It's very, very subtle. It's not obstructing the view from any point of view. And I'm going to give you a close-up so you can see the texture of the paper. It's quite easy to see the, the lustrous texture over there. It's a beautiful, versatile paper. Luster can be used for any occasion from weddings, babies to travel. It gives you really great colors because it has a subtle sheen, it has good dynamic contrast and it's also kind to fingerprint so if you touch it it's not going to leave a mark on the pages. If you don't like the sheen at all then your best choice would be the album because it offers you a completely matte paper and I love how the company is labeling its papers. Most companies sometimes label luster mistakenly as matte uh, as opposed to a glossy paper and I think that's really wrong because luster has a very noticeable sheen and matte is supposed to be completely matte and without any texture it's a smooth paper but luster is not smooth it has a texture so with album envy if you choose the matte paper you're going to get a truly matte paper which is smooth without a texture and without any shine and if you choose the luster you're going to get a sandy texture with a subtle sheen if there is one addition that I could suggest it would be to add in the future a glossy option. So all in all, last the people with all of the books, subtle sheen, very good quality, 
and nice texture. And also, uh, the minimum page count is 10 pages and the maximum is 100. So you can go up to 100 pages, especially with the flush round books, that's a very high maximum page count. Let's move on to the printing. As mentioned in the intro, all the books at Album Envy are printed using a silver halide true photographic method. Uh, this is the best with colours and tones, transitions, shades, contrast, and it also avoids any kind of dot structure that you would get from digital printing. Um, let me show you again a few of the pages. You can see the colours look extremely vibrant and vivid. I didn't notice any fault at all with the print. Everything looked exactly the way I wanted it to look. The colours have the right amount of saturation. There's no imbalance in the colours. Nothing got oversaturated, nothing got undersaturated. And I love how deep the blacks look in the book. And also there's a big uh, dynamic range between the, the shadows and the highlights. It's beautiful colours in the whole book. Sometimes with silver halide books, the print can come out a little bit soft and that's usually because the nature of silver halide prints, that it's not made up of dots but it's a continuous transition of tone. However, with Album Envy, the colours and the print looked really sharp and contrasted so it's, it, if I had to rate the print quality out of all the silver halide books, this one would definitely be in the top three. And finally, let's go on to editing. As you can see from the layout, uh, you can be quite creative. Bear in mind, these are silver halide albums. These are not digital photo books that you create in your smartphone app. So don't try to make them way too congested with hundreds of photos on a page and lots of text and you know all kinds of um, objects. You can have loads of different masks and shapes for pictures, you can change the backgrounds, lots of um, text options in the book. The layouts look really great, these were the ones that um, came with the book, I didn't create them myself. And They look really stylish, creative and they are not too much for a silver halide book. So, delivery. They now ship internationally, so wherever you are in the world, you can get these amazing uh, photo albums. Delivery costs $5, if I'm not mistaken, and depending on, on the location where you are in the world, it's going to be anywhere from three business days to two weeks. The full price of the book is different for all of the, the three books that I mentioned before. So, the photo book starts at $36, the hybrid starts at $49, and the album starts at $175 per book. What are the pros and cons of the book? Well, the, the pros, what were the things that I loved most? As I mentioned before, the print quality was outstandingly good. I was very happy with the colours, was very happy with the contrast and the dynamic range of the pictures. Uh, you know, sometimes Silver Halide can be a little soft. This one wasn't soft at all. It was perfect, top-notch quality. I also like the way they separated the books into three distinct products and all of them offer the same great quality so that the cheapest book is not inferior at all in printing or in paper. And the main difference is basically just the materials used in the covers which make the books more expensive and more exclusive. But the inside of the book is going to be just as great, even if you go for the cheapest one, the photo book. I like the editing of the, of the book, despite being a silver highlight book, it was quite creative. There was a lot of options to choose from um, and also uh, it was quite easy to move around the pictures and create stunning looking layouts and the built-in templates were quite good as well. I really like the cover options that they offer you for the three different books. And finally, I really love how many sizes they've got. Honestly, there's not a single project that you couldn't fit into any of these photo book sizes and all the rectangular sizes come in portrait and landscape as well. So you've got like 20, 20 something sizes to choose from. Now, what were the things that I wouldn't say that I didn't like so much, but where I think the company could improve on or add slightly more options? Well, to start with, uh, I think when you pay a lot for a book, especially a silver hide book, then a high gloss option is always a good thing to offer customers because although Luster is really versatile and you can use it for almost any kind of book, high gloss is always going to give you an extra bit of life to your pictures. I know it can look tacky in some scenarios, but in some uh, photo books, it can really make your pictures come alive. 
So if we could have glossy, luster, matte, it would be perfect. The second thing is um, just this beginning uh, first page here. As I said in the up close shots, I think it's quite nice when your book starts with an empty double spread and it finishes like that. It just looks a bit more elegant. Uh, when you open the book and your pictures start right there and the same on the back, it can look a little bit uh, too dense or too crowded. But um, it's not a huge problem and most people wouldn't even notice it. But having seen a lot of these books, I think an empty double spread would make a little bit of a difference and give it a bit more air of elegance. And lastly, as I said, there was no option to put any text on the spine, uh, which again is not a huge problem, especially with these kind of materials. But people like me who have loads of photo books, when you have them next to each other on the shelves, how are you going to know which one to take off? Are you going to pull all of them out and uh, check the front cover? Because it makes your life much easier when you can see what you're taking off the shelf. I know it's a small thing, but giving an option for the spine text wouldn't be the end of the world. So uh, anyway, clearly there are far more benefits to the book than the few cons that I mentioned, but I want to be very objective and tell you about every little detail that I notice about these books. So what can you do in these books? Uh, I think really anything. It's really good for weddings, it's good for babies, it's good for travel, it's good for portfolios, it's good for nature, for landscapes. So all in all, it was a very, very pleasant experience to go through the editing of this book, wait for it and see it and hold it in my hands. The materials are really exclusive. It's not cheap materials, it's really great quality. Um, I can't stress that enough. If you're looking for a good Silver Hide album, go for Album Envy. Don't forget to enter the game, it's going to run for two weeks. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and also to my blog, thephotobuguru.com. Leave your name and the word subscribed underneath the video in the comments on YouTube and on the blog as well. And after two weeks, I will get five lucky winners who can get an album envy a photo book in the value of $400. If you have any more questions about these books, leave them in the comments box. If you want to see more up close images, go onto my blog, photobookguru.com. If you want to see more of my travel photography from anywhere in the world where I've been to, follow me on Instagram, guy around the world, uh, follow me on Facebook, and thank you for watching, subscribe for more.